I'm Alec Cave. This is The Home Report. Over the past week, France has experienced its worst rioting in recent memory. Every major city has been affected, with the capital, Paris, seeing the worst of the violence, which has claimed the life of at least one fireman. Schools, libraries, town halls, independent shops and even police armories have been looted and torched. Rioting also spread to neighbouring francophone countries of Belgium and Switzerland. The rioting was sparked by the fatal police shooting of a teenager, Nahel Mazouk, of Algerian descent. According to his family's lawyers, he did not have a criminal record, but he was known to the police, particularly for resisting arrest, and he had been charged with resisting the previous weekend, and five times since 2021. His judicial file included 15 recorded incidents, including the use of false license plates, driving without insurance, and for the sale and consumption of drugs. The police officer responsible for the fatal police encounter has been arrested and is currently under investigation for manslaughter. But without looking at the facts of the case, the international left have been quick to blame the tragedy on systemic and institutional racism in French society. Disenfranchised residents of immigrant areas using the event as an excuse for violence, arson and looting. It is worth noting that only a few weeks before the police shooting, a Syrian refugee stabbed several people, including babies, in the French Alpine town of Annecy. The French institutional reaction was much the same as it is in Britain when faced with a horrific attack perpetrated by a migrant. Don't look back in anger. Love not hate. Thoughts and prayers. When a migrant attacks a native, we are supposed to swiftly move on and forget. After all, it's part and parcel of living in a liberal order. When a native kills a migrant, for whatever reason, the entire racist system must be torn down and rebuilt. The French political reaction to the riots can be broadly broken down into three separate groups. Firstly, the left-wing opinion that France deserves to burn as payback for 19th century colonial ventures. This is a bizarre view, as no one can explain why a small businessman in Bordeaux deserves to get his shop torched and looted due to long-lost colonies that he and his family never benefited from. Secondly, the centrist opinion espoused by Macron, the violence is caused by video games, and the real problem is not rioting, but people talking about it on the internet. And thirdly, there is the nationalist opinion. France's large immigrant population have demonstrated that they cannot integrate into French life and refuse to do so. The French authorities should immediately use the legitimate use of force of the state to restore law and order. This sentiment is best expressed by the leader of the national rally, Marine Le Pen, who said the following before the French National Assembly. At a time when our country has been ransacked and pillaged, I would like to ask the question that all French people are asking. What have you done with France? In the face of security, economic and judicial chaos, will you admit that the only possible response is a nationalist one? Nahel's death was the excuse certain sections of French society needed to justify the violence. Certain groups of people from ethnic minority backgrounds have, for the last decade, listened as Western liberals have told them that they are oppressed and that anything that doesn't go in their favour is some ist, ick or ism. How is stealing motorbikes, fancy clothes and domestic appliances while setting fire to the town you live help fight against police brutality and racism? It doesn't. These rioters and looters don't care at all for Nahel Mazouk. It's just an excuse to tear the place down, steal something and perhaps beat someone up. The Homeland Party supports our nationalist allies in France. France does not need immigration as it undermines national unity and social cohesion. In many areas, French national life has ceased to exist due to immigration. For the French, the question remains as to whether their way of life will cease to exist entirely.